What's up guys? It's Amanda and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I am going to be hauling some things that I found at Daiso. For those of you that don't know what Daiso is, it's sort of like a Japanese dollar store where most of the items are around $1.50 US. Some of them are a little bit higher, but for the most part, they're all very, very inexpensive items and they sort of have a little bit of everything. They have beauty stuff, they have home stuff, they have food, and they have art supplies. This is what sort of inspired the video. I got to thinking one night, what if I did a video trying out Daiso art supplies? So that's what I did. I went to Daiso and I went to their sort of stationary art supply section and I picked up a few things that I thought looked pretty cool. I will show you guys everything that I got. Um, not all of it is art supply related, but it's just sort of stuff that I thought was like cool and I'd show it to you. <laughs> um, and I don't know that I will be able to use everything in this video, but if you guys like this video, I can always go back and find some more stuff to try out and do a part two. Because my Daiso was telling me that they're currently trying to sort out their warehouse and get more items into the store that's nearest me, which means they might have new stuff when I go back. So yeah, um, just to get a couple of the less art related things out of the way. So the first and I think most expensive thing that I got was this three hole punch. I didn't have one of these. I thought it would be good to have and this was $4 and you guys, it's like, it's like sturdy. Um, so yeah, I thought this might come in handy at some point and if you didn't have one of these, Daiso has them. So check them out. They also had like the one punch uh, presses as well if you don't want the three hole punch, but I feel like the three hole punch kind of makes sense. So that's why I got it. Um, something else that's less art related, I got this uh, permanent glue tape. I feel like this might come in handy for like bullet journaling and things of that nature. So I just went ahead and picked this up because I thought it's good to have on hand. I also got like a white out correction tape one as well. And this is cool because you have the little option to like close it up. And like this thing's big, like there's a lot of stuff in there for $1.50. So I thought that was super nifty. Speaking of bullet journaling, Daiso has bullet journals. I paid a dollar fifty for this, and I paid like nine dollars for the ones I got on Amazon. Came three in a pack, but still, this is way cheaper. It has the same bullet journal style pages. I actually really like the cover of this too because it feels like canvas almost, and I thought that the cover design was super super cute. So I have this. Um, I do think I'm going to be changing up how I do my bullet journaling very very soon. But I don't know, I thought this was a neat little journal and I will certainly use it for to throw it on the ground. But I thought this was really neat and if you are wanting to get into bullet journaling, go to Daiso because they literally have so many things that can start you off on the right track. Also related to bullet journaling, I picked up these super cute little sticky tabs. I just love the colors, yellow is my favorite color. These are just super freaking adorable. The last non-art supply thing that I got was this straight line tape. It says it's for whiteboards, but I thought I could use this for a plethora of things. Like I could probably use this in my bullet journal. Um, I might even try and use this with like artwork or like creating effects with like the Copic airbrush. I think I've also seen people use this for like nail art and stuff. So I don't know. I just thought this would be fun to try out. And again, it was $1.50, so I thought, why not? All right, and now on to the supplies that I'm going to be using in this video. First, let's uh, start where you start, with the paper. <laughs> um, now, they didn't have a lot of options as far as sketchbooks go at my particular store, but they did have a couple, and I just picked up this one. It just says drawing, and it's uh, 11 by 16.7 centimeters, um, and it says drawing. Whatever you can do or dream, you can being it. You heard it here first. Anyway, this is just a cute little sketchbook. The paper is very, very thin. I mean, it's borderline like translucent. Um, and there are a lot of sheets in here, so that's a plus thing. So it might be like a good travel sketchbook for me, but it probably wouldn't hold up to a lot of 
medium being put on it um, but we're gonna try this out if anything maybe I can glue a couple pages together to kind of thicken it a little bit um, I might try that out but I had to pick up some paper from Daiso to try out Daiso art supplies I feel like that just kind of seemed like what we what we had to do um, the next item that I found that I think is going to be awesome and I definitely think they must have if you are looking for art supplies from Daiso is this math set and you might be thinking like I don't want no math set, but what you get in here are a series of little rulers. You have obviously just a regular sort of straight edge ruler. You have various kind of angle rulers. You have this sort of, what is this? Um, an isosceles triangle? <laughs> I don't know. An equilateral triangle and a little uh, protractor. I think it's been a while guys bear with me um and then you also get like a little compass in here and you get a little mechanical pencil which i'm probably going to be sketching with but i mean it's just this tiny little pencil you get some spare lead in here you have a regular pencil sharpener which doesn't really make sense oh 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 wait this is a pencil in here oh look at that uh you have a regular old pencil a mini pencil sharpener in here which i actually didn't know was in here because i bought a pencil sharpener um and you have like a nice little white plastic eraser that pretty much looks and feels exactly like my pentel high polymer erasers so this is kind of a must if you're picking up art supplies from daiso this sort of hits a lot of your marks in one and i think it's really great for that reason so i'm excited to try this out and see how much it comes in handy because i have a feeling it's going to be awesome and again, this is just called the little math set. And what's awesome is you get this little plastic travel case with it as well. All right, so next we're gonna get into inking since we already kind of covered our paper and sketching needs. I had to pick up some inking tools and I found a couple of things. First of all, I found these pens, which I thought looked really cool they actually had tons of colors and a few various sizes um two of these pens are size 0.38 and one is size 0.28 i don't really know what that means <laughs> um but this is just the d stationary brand um and i thought these pens seemed really really cool they feel really nice um they look pretty much just like a standard inking pen the tip is super, super fine, which I'm actually really excited about. And we are going to kind of test out these supplies before I get into actually trying to create something with them. Um, but I really was excited about these and I think they're going to be an awesome addition to my art supplies. The next inking thing that I picked up is this fountain pen. Now, if you guys watched my Pentel pocket brush pen refill video you know that i actually picked up some refills from daiso that didn't actually end up working for that pen like i thought they would and i said i would try and go and find the pen that those refills are made for i thought it was a brush pen and it's not it's a fountain pen um i'm a little terrified of fountain pens i've never tried one before this one says it's for medium thickness and you can see it does come with a little cartridge right there i was trying to open this up but then i thought i would just save it for the video it's a really cool looking pen. Here is what the uh, tip looks like. If you've ever seen a fountain pen, this is what it looks like. Um, I have no idea what to expect with this. Like no idea what I'm doing. Um, so that'll be fun. I guess we'll, we'll um, experiment with this. Very unsure at this point what, what's gonna come of that um anyway now kind of getting into coloring i don't think i'm gonna be able to do a lot of that but i did pick up some cute things that i thought we would try out um i picked up lipstick highlighters that's that's what i got um, they're cute there are three colors in here blue pink and orange and unfortunately they're not the like pastel colors that are on the outside they're basically your typical highlighter colors so that was kind of unfortunate because i thought what a cute little color scheme um but it's just the outside packaging not the inside packaging but these are super cute i mean <laughs> i'm a sucker for packaging in general um and these were kind of fun so i don't regret this purchase i'll probably end up using them eventually i go through highlighters 
like a mad woman. Um, so yeah, I picked up a couple of those pens. I also picked up some brushes. I'm not sure if or how I will incorporate these today. I may have to save them for another video. But I picked up this set of five brushes, again, for $1.50. These are all round brushes, and they come in sizes 0, 6, 8, 10, and 12. Let me pull these out for you guys to see a little bit of a better look. These are nylon brushes, which I prefer nylon to natural hair brish bristles. I feel like I'm just more comfortable with them. Um, and these look really nice. I mean, I don't really know what to make of them yet until I kind of use them for myself, but you can never have too many watercolor brushes. Kind of getting into the finishing touches. Oh, I forgot to mention this. I found a kneaded eraser. Um, it's supposed to smell like bananas. I don't know how I feel about that. Cute. It comes in this little plastic container, which I guess is nice. like burnt rubber um oh this is interesting interesting okay is this glittery it feel it like it looks glittery almost oh but this is this is satisfying Ooh. do you guys ever ever watch like those slime slash putty videos I fall into the rabbit hole every time on instagram like i watch this before i go to bed and they're just so relaxing I like this. This was a good decision. I'm I'm happy with this choice. <laughs> the smell is a little bit off-putting, um, not gonna lie, and I don't know how good this is going to be at actually erasing anything, but I like it. <laughs> I'm not sure why, but I like it. Um, okay, so we will uh, try that out as well. I also picked up this pencil sharpener because again, I didn't know that the math set came with one. Um, and it's basically the same little cheap uh, pencil sharpener, but in a cute outer packaging. Uh, the outside of it says, Our Love Story. Um, and it's this cute little mint blue color. It's nice. It's not like super fancy, sturdy packaging or anything. It's super lightweight, and you do have two sizing options, which I guess is cool. Um, so yeah, I picked that up. I also picked up this. This is one of the things that I was actually pretty excited about. Um, when I went to Daiso because I thought this could be a really cool alternative to uh, like a white gel pen if it works the way I want it to work. It's this correction pen and the tip of it is a one millimeter ball tip. Um, it's a kind of a shaky dealio and the packaging is super cute. I really commend them for that. So that's what, that's what this looks like. We're going to try this out, see what we can do with it, and see if I like it. But I don't know. I thought this was pretty nifty. We're going to try this out for sure. Um, what are some other things? I feel like I'm missing stuff. Um, I picked up this. I don't know why. I thought this was a highlighter when I first looked at it, and then I remembered when I picked it up in the store that it's actually a pair of scissors. Like, I don't know. I don't know. We're, we're about to find out. Okay. Scissors. <laughs> It took me a little while to figure out how to actually open that up, but we got it. And um, I guess this would come in handy. They don't feel super great or like sturdy or anything, but I guess if you were in a pinch, these would probably work pretty well for you. Um, they're okay. I don't know if we'll use these. I'm curious to try them out, honestly. And, and uh, the packaging is cute. It's kind of like the pencil sharpener. It says, just for you. Thanks, I guess. <laughs> Thanks, Daiso. Um, okay, and a few kind of last minute odds and ends that I picked up. I picked up this little jar. Um, these are always nice to have for me. I'll put water in them if I'm doing watercolor or ink if I'm doing ink washes. These are just nice to have in general. And again, if it wasn't very expensive, it was probably $1.50. And I'll probably use it. Um, I love having these on hand. I have something similar holding all of my uh, Prismacolor pencils at the moment. Maybe I can put the baby lens in this one because it's a baby jar. Maybe that's what I'll do. I don't know, I haven't decided yet, but I picked that up because I know I will get good use out of it. 
Another thing that I picked up is this little pencil pouch that kind of slides over your notebook. But I thought this was a kind of a cool idea to attach to my bullet journal and just be able to like take a pen with me on the go so that I can actually travel with my bullet journal because right now I usually just leave it at home. Um, but I thought this was neat. And again, for $1.50, I feel like that's a good bargain and I'll probably get some use out of that. And the last thing that I think I want to talk about because I, I think I've got everything at this point. Um, but this is actually probably the thing I'm most excited about because I feel like if you guys are in need of a way to organize your art supplies, Daiso has your back. And I found this little pen stationary holder. What's awesome about it is that the little compartments are slightly slanted as you can kind of see by the top one. It's like lower at the bottom and then it comes up at an angle. You guys, if you bought a whole bunch of these, you could totally have a inexpensive Copic marker storage system. And what's great about it is like it is at that upward angle, so it's really easy to grab for them. I just think this is gonna be awesome. I will probably use this more for my inking pens, like these ones, kind of just like pop them in there. And I don't know, I'm so excited about this. You could get a whole bunch of them, you could glue them together, you could easily decorate these and I don't know. I'm really excited about this find and I just think this would really help a lot of you. You could store it this way as well. It wouldn't be as effective or as efficient. Um, but I do think that this is just really cool. And I was excited to find this. So this is, those are all of the things that I uh, found at Daiso. And now I'm going to see what I can make with this. <laughs> Wish me luck. Okay, so first thing, I'm just going to test out the supplies I do have and just sort of see what we are working with. First, I'm gonna attempt to sharpen this pencil and just see if I like the way that this feels. Um, let's just go at it. I've not used a pencil like this in a long time. All right, that looks pretty good. I'm gonna risk making a mess over my entire desk right now, so I'm just gonna um, try my best to keep this clean. So this feels pretty natural in my hand, just a typical traditional pencil. I do wanna compare it, however, to the little mechanical pencil that's also in this set because I feel like this might be more familiar to some of you. Feels similar, the lines are a little bit finer and I can get a little bit more control with them. The one downside is like most mechanical pencils, this does not have an eraser, so I don't know if that's a downside for most of you. It's also just super lightweight and plasticky, so if you're used to a more heavier uh, writing utensil in your hand, you might not care for this very much, but it's all right. And I do like that they give you extra lead to replace this. And I also wanna try out the erasers in this set. So I'm gonna try out this uh, white plastic eraser first. This seems to work really well. Um, this is pretty comparable from what I can tell to my uh, high polymer erasers. You can see mine is <laughs> pretty worn down. It actually is pretty similar in size to this one, although this one is quite a bit thinner. So this probably wouldn't last you very long. I'm also super curious to try out this eraser, um, but I don't wanna dirty up the whole thing, so I'm just gonna take a little portion of it and see if this erases. This is so weird. Oh wow, that actually erases really easily. Some of the hard marks are a little harder to lift off, but this works really well. <laughs> I'm actually impressed with that. Um, okay, let's test out some of the pens. This is, let's see, this is the D stationary pen. It's blue and it's in size uh, 0.38. I feel like this is pretty nice. I feel like the ink flow is great. It's just like a really tiny ballpoint pen which I like, I don't know. Seems to dry pretty quick. That's always nice. 
I also have one in brown, which is like a nice burnt sienna. And I also have one in purple. I don't think they had a black one, which was interesting. Um, but yeah, the ink flow in all of these seems really nice. Let's try out the highlighters. Now I told you guys these are pretty much just like your standard highlighter. We have the orange one, a pink one, and a blue one. So pretty standard. I don't know if or how I will be using these, but if I can implement them, I will. Now let's try this bad boy out because I don't really know what to what to expect here. Um, I will say for being inexperienced with fountain pens, this one feels really nice. Um, let's see here. So there's like a little part that goes down into this ink cartridge, I think. Okay, yeah, so it just kind of pushes down in there. I don't know what this bit does. I feel like I need, I need a guide. Cause does this pull out? I don't think this pulls out. I think it just needs like a minute to let the ink drain in. Okay. Ooh, why do I all of a sudden like this? <gasps> I love this. Oh my gosh, does it smear? A little bit, but that's, that's forgivable. <gasps> oh my gosh. The ink flow on this is amazing. I really like this. Oh my gosh, like the ink flow tapers so naturally. Oh my gosh, actually, I really like this. I wish it was available in a black ink, but I'm pretty excited to try that out. Okay, so, oh wow, there was no bleed through on the paper either. I mean, like I said, it's super thin and translucent, but at least it didn't bleed through right away. Although I kind of do want to do a bleed test. So let's see. Okay, yeah, so it, just with a little bit of rubbing, it will bleed through if you layer a lot of ink on there. So I probably won't be layering very much. Um, so, but just in case there is some bleed through, I am actually gonna go ahead and glue a couple of pages together just to make the paper a little bit thicker and see what that does. All right. I love that all of the things from Daiso just have this little like cover. That's so handy. So I'm just putting a couple strips of this glue. Oh, oh, oh. That got a little gunky. Not super great. It feels a little, I don't know, gunky, like I said. Like it's not laying on really smoothly. That's okay, not the end of the world. Let's put this paper down on top. Glue that down nice and secure. So now we have a slightly thicker paper. We'll see how well this works. And also, just out of curiosity, I'm really wondering what these scissors perform like. So we're gonna try these out as well. I'm just gonna cut off this little ink smudge here at the bottom. All right, those are, those are definitely scissors. They're just not super sharp and I feel like they probably wouldn't perform well on thicker papers, but they definitely cut. They're not the most comfortable things to use, but like I said, if you were in a pinch, these would probably work just fine. So anyway, let's go back to our experiment here and let's just try and doodle something. I actually think I'm gonna go for the traditional pencil over the mechanical just cause I like the weight of it more and it feels more familiar to me because it's similar to the uh, Prismacolor Colorase pencils which I always sketch with. 
All right, guys, if you've made it to this point in the video, I want you to give yourself a pat on the back because I know it's already been a long one, but you guys know how I am with product reviews. I tend to be really thorough, and I also just tend to talk a lot and ramble on. So it's just sort of how it goes here on my channel, but if you're here, I really do appreciate it. Give the video a thumbs up and leave me a comment if you made it to this point in the video, and uh, let me know what art supply I showed in this video you are most excited about and that you might go out and purchase for yourself. But to just talk a little bit about the sketch that I am doing, I'm doing something very stereotypical for me. I'm just drawing a curvy, beautiful lady because that's sort of my go-to. And typically when I want to test out supplies for the first time, I do a sketch that's very familiar and something I'm, I'm very used to. That way I know that that's not a variable that I'm working with when I'm reviewing the, the product. So I actually decided to ink using this fountain pen. And while I do really like it, um, I do find that I tend to choke the pen a little bit too much for me to really use this realistically in my artwork because the ink gets everywhere I'm talking like on my shirt like it just it's everywhere because it gets all over my hands and then I don't realize it and then it's a mess and it also feathered a little bit when I held it too long on the paper um but it was a really nice pen and like I said I think it's kind of opened the the floodgates for me and made me a little bit more willing to try some other fountain pens in the future so if you have any recommendations for me leave that in the comments down below as well now, my approach with the highlighters was to do a very sort of simple color scheme, and I sort of ended up going for a complementary color scheme of the blue and orange, and I sort of just used the blue to shade and the orange to highlight and then left certain parts of the figure blank uh, just as almost sort of a mid-tone in a way, which is weird, but because the highlights are so bright and fluorescent, I didn't really want to use those as a mid-tone, um, and so I used the white instead. Um, but that being said, I used sort of flat layers of the color to give it more impact, and then I used sort of hatching lines to give it less impact, but still sort of give the figure dimension. And I did find that the pen was a little touch and go, but overall I actually really like the effects that I got with it and will probably continue using it. All right guys, and this is uh, my finished drawing. I wouldn't necessarily call it like a masterpiece or anything, um, but I think it's cute. It's uh, sort of turned into this hybrid of the cheap art supply challenge meets the complimentary color challenge. Um, but I like it. I think it's simple. I think I was able to use a lot of the supplies effectively. As you can see, there was no bleed through because we did double tape these pages. So that was nice. Um, just a couple of notes about the supplies. I like the fountain pen. I think it's more suitable for a thicker paper because I did notice in the areas where I held the pen down for a longer period of time, particularly around the eyes, I did get a little bit of bleeding, like just some slight feathering, and I only really noticed that in places where I held down the pen for a longer time. I don't necessarily think that's the pen or the ink flow, um, although I did realize I was choking the pen a little bit and I did get a lot of ink here. I got some on my desk, um, but it's just gonna take some uh, time to getting used to this pen. I do like it. I would recommend it if you are new to fountain pens and you wanna try something out. I think this one's nice. Um, the ink flow is super nice. It's an easy pen to use. I like how it feels in my hand. Um, and I liked it in this piece. I just think I need to get a little bit more acquainted with it and um, be careful for how long I hold it down on the paper, especially if I'm using a thinner paper. These were a great find. I'm so happy I found these. I want to go back and get some more colors just because I feel like these would be great for bullet journaling or artwork and I can never have enough pens. So I'm definitely going to be picking up more of these um, and try and figure out what the sizing is. I mean, I obviously know that like one's smaller than the other, but um, I'm not sure how many different sizes these come in and that would be interesting to know. So I liked these a lot and I didn't find that these bled very much. And if you're wondering, I think the blue in this pen is slightly darker than the blue in this pen. I really wish this came in black. I swear that would make it, the only thing that could make that pen better is if it came in black. Um, the white correction pen 
is a little bit of a crapshoot. It was kind of hard to control. The first time I put it down on the paper, it did sort of bleed and splotch everywhere. Um, but once I kind of dabbed it off, it seemed to do fine. Um, it's definitely got a heavier ink flow to it than say like the Sakura white gel pen or the Uniball pen. But if you were in a pinch, this would probably work great. And if you work on larger surfaces, you might actually even prefer this one. Um, I do like it and I will probably use it, especially in instances where I want more of an impact than the gel pen can give me because this would definitely do the job. The highlighters were good. <laughs> they were pretty much a standard highlighter. I don't think they have a lot of ink in them, so that's something to be aware of. And just like any other highlighter, um, you know, it's nothing special, but kind of fun to have and the packaging, obviously adorable. I think if you're going to get anything from Daiso, this little kit is actually super handy. And I liked the eraser and the pencil sharpener in this quite a lot. I do think this would be a super helpful addition to you if you plan on doing this challenge. Um, just because I did end up utilizing at least four of the things in this kit. And if it was only $1.50, in my opinion, that is well worth it. Something that was kind of surprising to me. This. I love this. It's actually a really good kneaded eraser. Um, the smell is getting a little strong. My whole desk actually does smell like banana runts, um, which is interesting. Uh, but I, I like this, but I honestly feel like I'd rather just have it as like a fidget tool to like mess around with when I'm at my desk or like while I'm working on homework and stuff because I enjoy it. Um, but yeah, it does also erase stuff. Um, so that's a plus, I suppose. Um, I believe that was pretty much it for all the items that I used. I will hopefully try these brushes out at a later date and um, I will probably be doing a part two to this challenge, honestly. I had a lot of fun trying this out and hopefully you guys liked the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. It helps me out a lot and subscribe if you wanna become part of my internet fam. Um, I would greatly appreciate it and that's it for me today. I will see you guys next week with some brand new videos. Have a good weekend, guys. Bye!